Today, I am standing in front of Rukia Hall at Dhaka University in Dhaka, the capital city of Bangladesh. Rukia Khatun was born in 1880 in the village of Pairabond, which is in the area of Mitapukur in the district of Rongpur. Rukia's childhood was greatly influenced by her eldest brother, Ibrahim Saber, and her immediate elder sister, Karimunnesa Khanam Chodrani. Karimunnesa wanted to study Bengali, the language of the majority in Bengal. Upper class Muslims of the time preferred to use Arabic and Persian instead of Bengali. But Ibrahim taught English and Bengali to Rukia and Karimunnesa, and both sisters became authors. Rukia's husband encouraged her to keep learning Bengali and English after they married, and per his advice, she adopted Bengali as the principal language for her literary works because it was the language of the masses. She launched her literary career in 1902 with a Bengali essay entitled Pipasha, Thirst. This was followed by the books Matichur in 1905 and Sultana's Dream in 1908. Sultana's Dream was a story reversing the roles of men and women in which women were the dominant sex and the men were subordinate. This fantastic satire garnered influence upon its publication. Five months after her husband's death in 1909, Rukia established Sakawat Memorial Girls High School in Bhagalpur with only five students. In 1911, after a dispute with her husband's family over property, she moved the school to Kolkata. It remains one of the city's most popular schools for girls and is now run by the state government of West Bengal. Rokia also founded the Anjumane Khawatine Islam, the Islamic Women's Association, and was active in holding debates and conferences regarding the status of women and education. She advocated reform, particularly for women, and believed that parochialism and excessive conservatism were principally responsible for the relatively slow development of Muslims in the British Raj. Rukia passed away on her 52nd birthday on 9th December 1932. Today in Bangladesh, the 9th of December is celebrated as Rukia Day. Rukia Khatun was one of the first Islamic feminists. She was inspired by the traditional Islamic learning as enunciated in the Quran and believed that modern Islam had been distorted or corrupted. She organized many events for social reforms based on the original teachings of Islam that, according to her, were lost. From Rukia Khatun we learn that no action is too small, and no small action is limited to small ripples, if the intention is correct. She learnt, studied, and wrote in the confines of her own part of the world, and yet her legacy is a global one.